What's so hard about wearing a mask? Manipaxi said. I only hear in one ear, so everyone wearing masks makes it very difficult for me to hear. I'm also slightly allergic to most masks, like those offered at work, and constantly have to itch my face which makes them less effective causes rashes. I still wear one, at work anyway, but it's cloth which is less effective. Shattered 7 Dun 1 said. I really don't understand the anger that people have towards those of us who are still wearing masks. The number of dirty looks, scowls and ignorant comments I get is disappointing on the one hand and laughable on the other. If you don't want to wear a mask and you were able to be vaccinated, that is your decision. Just be aware that you can still contract, die from or spread COVID-19 or the variants. What is so disheartening is the anger people have toward any and everyone who is not vaccinated. There are many people who have health conditions that make it inadvisable for them to receive the vaccine, I am one of them. Therefore, I will continue to mask up from the moment I leave my home until I return. I will do everything I can to protect you from me, I wish you would be gracious enough to do your part to protect me from you. Manamorway said. Whatever discomfort that comes with wearing a mask is overshadowed by the fact that if I don't wear one, I put my family at risks. Here are some discomforts I deal with. It cuts into my ear for some reasons, not to the point of breaking my skin but enough to leave read marks. Cheaper masks tend to press down on my nose, slightly blocking my nostril airways. If I'm doing any strenuous activity, sweat tends to make the mask sticky. Every time I sneeze into the mask I have to smell my own split until I can change one. On the other hand, as someone who is always sick every other week, I haven't gotten really sick for the past year which I'm probably never taking off my mask, and I don't have to deal with people with bad breath anymore. Massive win emo. Radaburn said. Some tips for you? Use paper clips and a large rubber band to make a cheap but effective band across your head to take the pressure off your ears entirely. Store your mask with a breath mint when you aren't using it. Makes the mask smell nice, even if you sneeze. Pinch the middle of the metal band over the bridge of your nose to form a sharp peak. Should relieve the pressure on the sides of your nose. I wore 12.5 shifts in a hospital, including a COVID unit, so I've dealt with this a lot. Penguin Panda said, preface this with, I wear masks whenever I'm out and I'm vaccinated. I hate masks. They annoy my ears after working for long periods of time. When it's hot and humid up they get soaked with sweat and feel like I'm waterboarding myself. Also when I wear them in anything that's moving, happens fairly often. Take transit to work, they make me feel nauseous cause they allow for less airflow and it's hot air. Firefly Drake said. I say this as someone who understands the value of masks and how much they helped us endure until there was a vaccine. They suck. I work outdoors in variable temperatures and wear glasses. Going in and out of buildings constantly equals glasses fogged up all the time. It's annoying when you're trying to get work done and have to keep wiping your glasses clean every few seconds because the mask made your breath fog them. Also, they make the whole area of your face feel sweltering in hot weather. You can breathe, yes, but I don't think we're thermoregulating as well when the hot air we're exhaling stays trapped close to our face. It certainly feels uncomfortable. Also, and I'm saying this as an introvert, I've surprisingly really missed seeing people's full faces, especially that of my friends. Smiling with your eyes just isn't the same. Edit. Oh. I also work with kids a lot for my job. I do environmental education for a zoo. And while understanding them without masks is hard enough, understanding what they're saying with masks and is five times worse. UK Kasha 2020 said. Breathing difficulty for people like my mother, who can barely breathe when just sitting at home never mind when she's having to do errands or go to work. Sensory issues which can drive autistic people like me into a meltdown, potentially impacting neurology and ability to function for weeks afterwards. We both still wear masks, but a remitter there's exemption for a reason, disabled people exist. Santichrist said. It's a minor inconvenience not gonna lie, but being in the hospital or getting someone else sick is more than an inconvenience. Depending on the mask it'll hurt my ears sometimes too for whatever reason. And sometimes my glasses will fog up if I don't press that nose part down enough. All the people who act like wearing a mask is akin to torture or something are giant babies. Lisa Lowe said. I feel like I might have mild sensory issues because I feel a sense of claustrophobia when I put one on. 
Initially when I had to wear one it also triggered minor anxiety attacks which is ironic since my main method of dealing with those is deep breathing and deep breathing in a mask caused me to suck my cloth mask deeper into my mouth causing me to feel more panicked. Also very good tip I got from other people for dealing with this is rubbing your wrist or collarbone in small circles with your finger. Helps to refocus your attention on something you're not anxious about and calms you down without the deep breathing. It's better now and I always gladly wear one. My city never let up on indoor masking and I support it. I really envy the people who have no issues but I'm sympathetic to people who hate it because I do too. Sutology said. I work outside and they get drenched by my sweat and filthy from dust and dirt. Additionally sometimes you got a bad breath day and are forced to just pickle in that. I got vaccinated and wear it in crowds but now that it's lifted and I've done my part I shouldn't have to wear it walking down the street or in the grocery store when fears like 8 people. I have worn masks for years in waiting rooms and any medical setting and believe that part should never be lifted because I got the flu years ago waiting to be seen at my doctor's office when my asthma was being treated because some woman refused to cover her mouth as she coughed. Kachele 99 said. The problem with that attitude is, there are millions who wear a mask because they will stand out if they do not. These people do not think it is dangerous to go about unvaccinated and asymptomatic carrying a huge virus payload. If the vaccinated stop wearing mask millions of unvaccinated will stop wearing a mask, more people will die and it will take longer to get out of the other end of this damn pandemic the vaccinated should continue to wear a mask even if it is not necessary for their own personal individual safety. The government and health authorities cannot leave it up to the individual to be responsible. People are not responsible. Carrot Wax said. This is a loaded question. People have different values. They have different bodies and slightly different needs. Psychologically we are affected by not seeing facial muscles. There can be less of a sense of connection. Masks can be a symbol, with different meaning for everyone. For some, they mean you care about others' safety. For others, they are a constant reminder we should be terrified and compliant. There is no doubt there is some level of protection offered by masks. But we don't fully know how much and in what circumstances. There is also a psychological effect. But we don't know what. This all leads to frustration and polarization. I'm not sure how honest this question was, but it should have been asked a year ago in a scientific manner. Cletus the Unbannable said. It's not mandated here. Anybody that wants the vaccine by now in my area has either gotten it or has pressing arrangements to get it. I actually just got the vaccine for myself and I'm not fucking wearing a mask anytime I step out the house until 2035. Simple. Forget it. You can wear one if you want, but don't drag me into it. The vaccine is a personal matter of risk assessment. The only reason I got it was because I don't feel like going through losing my taste and smell for an extended period again, though the virus hardly affected me in any other way. Now that I do have it, though, you doubly can't tell me a goddamn thing. Limultifandomgerol said. Breathing. I have allergic asthma and my lungs aren't exactly the best. I haven't needed wear a mask much since I've pretty much been at home for most of the pandemic but I went in person for school for about a month and it was great, don't get me wrong, but it was so hard to breathe. Luckily we only actually exercised once in gym because they made us wear our masks during the exercises. I swear, I thought I was gonna die. I had to constantly lift my mask a little bit so I could get some air in. Paula Bear 263 said. It makes my ears ache randomly. Like, one day they will be fine, I wear masks all day at work. Then the next day the back of one ear will suddenly ache like mad and that ear will then be a bit sore all day till I take off the mask. I can't wait till we go back to not wearing them. Unfortunately I work in healthcare so I have a feeling that decision is a long way away. They're also really annoying when trying to communicate with someone who's hard of hearing. Commonly these people are so used to lip reading that they will look at the mask automatically and I know I have to raise my voice a bit louder. Jim Jam 28 said. That isn't true. It limits the spread of your breath. Why would you think it would work for a sneeze but not for your breath? Just go online and look at infrared videos of how masks work. They limit the spread of your breath from 6 plus feet to about 2 feet. So masks coupled with social distancing means we're all much less likely to be breathing in high concentrations of each other's breath, therefore making it much less likely for us to be potentially breathing in high concentrations of a virus. Dreg02 said. 
What's the point of wearing one though it does nothing to stop viruses unless it's N95 or better and I haven't even seen those sold since the pandemic started. Don't get me wrong, I put one on, but I kinda feel the only reason is to give others a false sense of security. If it was that serious surely any sensible gov would have supplied us all with real N95s to stop it but no. There is benefit if everyone wears a mask. They protect others from the fine misty viral goodness that your lungs would put out. Although there is conjecture as to whether the virus is airborne, so far it is known and proven to be transmitted through respiratory droplets which are decently blocked by a surgical mask. Not completely blocked, but when combined with social distancing it's effective at controlling the spread. Dreg02 said. An N95 mask is more effective at filtering your air intake, however it has to be the right size as well as fitted, meaning that it's the right shape, fit, and snugness to your face. Medical staff have and are using these now. Although they are more effective they come with an increased health risk because N95s require your heart and lungs to work much harder to breathe whether a fitted mask or non-fitted, so there is a calculus to determine if wearing one is feasible, accessible, fitted versus non-fitted, and safe for your individual health history. Surgical masks do not have this health risk. TL, DR, surgical masks work just fine when combined with social distancing and wearing it right. N95s have to be worn right, be the right size, and have other health risks due to how much they restrict airflow. Remember, wearing a mask helps to protect those around you but will not protect you so well. Wear one to help your neighbors and hopefully they'll wear one to protect you. Terabyte said. Well it took a while to get used to it but for a couple of weeks I was having small anxiety attacks over wearing one and I'm not even sure why. I could wear one now but it's whatever. My mom almost refuses to wear a mask and I just tell her to put one on. Just shut people up at this point my mom's one of these people that believes that the virus is fake and it doesn't exist. Luckily almost everywhere I go now is gone almost back to normal so whatever. Kohiachai said. My eyes gets irritated when I exhale with Vic Vapor Rub on my nose I'm not sick. The smell helps me not freak out or get scared and glasses fogging up. Despite that I know how to work myself round by just tightening my mask a little bit and exhale from my mouth in an angle. There's no real problem for me I've been wearing a mask even before the pandemic. What's fun though is no one knows if I'm a girl or just a feminine looking boy I have boobs shut up QWQ. And I get to smile freely without people seeing me smile. Archaethesisnet said. Just a quick note here, everyone talking about foggy glasses shows your seal is poor. Means if you exhale and get fog, you're also getting stuff, like COVID viruses, coming around and through the gaps on the inhale. So you soap your glasses to prevent fog and forget the real problem. Anyway I've had my nose broken at least 4 times and sure it's not easy breathing through an N95 but I want to stay alive. I've had to wear masks for years in a variety of jobs so I'm used to it, I can imagine it's a shock to some folks. One does tend to overheat in hot temps wearing them, though. Cyberlane said. My nose was broken as a child so my left nostril is collapsed and the right one doesn't give much, but gives enough, air. So running or even walking too fast, I struggle to breath. I also have asthma, so in general my breathing isn't the best. Why haven't I had it fixed? Well it wasn't an issue when it happened, the nostril slowly collapsed over the years and I didn't notice what was wrong. Now when I am older and aware. I see so many horrible botched nose jobs that I'm too scared of coming out worse, so I stick to having my broken nose. Brianna Good said. The hardest part about wearing a mask is getting used to not wearing one. I've been so used to wearing masks over the past year and I have that it gives me a sense of security beyond health reasons. Even though I'm fully vaccinated and life is starting to become normal again, I've been keeping my mask on because it makes me feel safe, socially. The other day I forgot my mask while shopping and went in without one and felt exposed, vulnerable and insecure. I'm an introvert so it made me feel more hidden and safe in social settings. Yagara Lil said. This goes back a bit, but when I was young my mom would put a hot towel over my face, very light can breathe through my mom wasn't trying to smother me, so I'd be able to get to sleep and the masks have a similar feeling they are hot and can get watered down, and plus the mask is acting as a sort of blanket. Ick when you wear a kid and you would hide in a blanket with your head under it playing your 3Ds or something along the lines of that, well you get tired and hot because lack of oxygen in your system. Also don't even get me started on mask acne, 
I never had this much acne and it's all around my nose and cheekbones so not really funny. I DK abs you all but I think they are comfortable lol might be because of my past so I have no problem wearing them but I if I did I would and will wear them for others safety. TL, DR, makes me sleepy and lots of acne but I will wear for others safety. Sigma buddy said. I dislike wearing a mask, it makes breathing more cumbersome, fogs up glasses, including sunglasses, and irritates my face after a while. The fibers can also get caught up in beard stubble and break off. It's hard to scratch itches, hard to keep clean, etc. That said, I have no real issue with wearing a mask around other people when I'm indoors, though, unless I have verified that they don't care, I'm also fully vaccinated. It's not annoying enough to prevent me from accommodating other people, if I can make them feel more comfortable. If I can do something which is not a big deal to me, which will help other people, mentally or physically, I'll usually do it. The wonky eyed one said. 100% honesty here. I went through and got both of my vaccinations even though they were emergency approved which means there may be some side effects down the road that I don't know and may not be prepared for. I did this to try and do my part to curb suppress transmission. Unfortunately some fuckwads decided they didn't need to do the same. More people are dying and here I am wearing a mask again, even though I don't want to because I feel as though I've done my part. A glitter explosion said. I just like to preface with I wear a mask in every situation and location they are required. I get rather claustrophobic with a mask on and apparently I have been lip reading more than I ever knew because I cannot seem to hear people very well when we have masks on. Also, while I'm okay with wearing it in winter but I honestly don't know how I will handle them in summer as I tend to be rather heat sensitive at the best of times. Contemplating Meth said. I work in cold storage, 2 degrees Celsius warehouse. And currently we are required to wear masks, Melbourne, Australia. It's a physical job and I get out of breath but I can still wear the mask. Something that surprised me though is the build up of condensation under my mask due to the cold storage environment. After about an hour I need to change masks because it's completely drenched. But I still wear a mask with little issue. Band said. Well I'm going to tell you. Last year I had this absolute bitch of a time with my masks. I was having so much trouble breathing in it I was getting heat exhaustion just doing grocery shopping. And then there's the jackasses who post pictures of their industrial masks they spend all day in and say if they can wear that for 33 hours a day 12 days a week then everyone else can wear a paper mask to the store. Couple problems. Those masks they wear are probably pretty good quality. And I happened to order some shit masks because that's all that was available. Remember the video of the guys making masks and putting their feet all over them? I got those bought from China. I didn't know they were shit masks. But most fortunately I only got 10. What happened was I ordered a pack of 50 off Amazon but they were going to take 2 months to arrive. So I also ordered a 10 pack that could be here quickly. I used the 10 pack. And those are the ones I had trouble with. When I ran out I switched to the 50 pack. They look the same. The cheap blue ones. But there is a world of difference between the two. I can breathe in the ones from the 50 pack. It was an instantly noticeable difference. Memamani said. It fogs up my glasses. It makes it more difficult to breathe. It hurts my ears. It's annoying to disinfect wash my hands, put it on and then disinfect wash again. Takes time and effort. I have to speak louder and clearer for people to make out what I'm saying. People have to speak louder and clearer for me to make out what they're saying. Sometimes they do not and I tire of repeating what, dot. Carrying masks and disinfectant with me in tiny woman purses is difficult and takes too much space. I have to calculate how many masks I need to take with me before I leave home. Sometimes I miscalculate and end up in trouble. I can't wear mascara anymore, the hot air from breath ending up to my eyes and uncurls even the best curled eyelashes. And I really liked how I looked with mascara. Don't get me wrong, I wear my mask religiously. It's more important for me to protect others in case I happen to have an asymptomatic infection and to be comfortable. But there are many annoying sides to wearing masks. I look forward to the time we can stop.